and welcome back to Atman Unlimited. This will be the final episode in our Buying a CNC Machine series. I hope you've enjoyed the previous three episodes. In this episode, we're going to wrap up and circle back to the costs and cost comparisons between a vertical machining center and a personal CNC machine. One of the decisions that you had to make when specifying your machine in episode one is if you need a tool changer. And if the answer to that was yes, now the cost comparison between a new personal CNC machine and an older vertical machining center just became uh, very comparable. With a personal CNC machine, with a tool changer, you're probably going to be in the $18,000 to $22,000 range for a brand new personal CNC machine and tool changer. A used vertical machining center can be purchased for about the same price, if not less. I was able to buy this machine significantly less than that, with the caveat that it needed a lot of work. It took me about 400 hours and a lot of, a lot of money to get this machine back up to factory specs. With a personal CNC machine, you're going to be able to know exactly what that machine is going to cost you. It's going to be delivered to your location with a warranty, ready to go to cut chips the next day, if not that day. Not true with a vertical machining center. You may have to invest quite a bit of time and money into this machine to get it up to the specifications that you're going to need. These are all things that you need to consider when you're specking out one of these machines and when you go to look at it to actually purchase it. You want to be very careful in your inspection to make sure that you know what you're buying. Do you need new ball screws? Is the spindle okay? Are you going to need new linear ways? Or are they box ways that are going to need turkite to be scraped? If there is issues with the machine and it does need repair, are you going to be able to maintain and do those repairs yourself? If you can't do that work yourself, it's going to cost you significantly more money to have that machine repaired back into working condition. It's that reason why that machine is being sold as cheap as it is, because it's no longer considered of any value to a standard industrial machine shop. They don't want to take the risk or spend the money on trying to fix and repair that machine anymore. That's why it's being sold as cheap as it is. So along with the cost of repair and purchase of a vertical machining center or the cost of buying a brand new personal CNC machine, we also have ancillary costs. So installation of your machine is going to cost a lot more with one of these machines. The wire needs to be bigger because we're, we have more power. The installation of the machine to get it into the shop is going to cost more. If you have to hire a machine mover, a machine mover is going to charge you anywhere from $1,000 to a couple of thousand dollars, depending on the job at hand to get this machine into your building. Personal CNC machine, probably a couple of your, of your buddies will be able to get that into your house okay. With that, we also have accessory costs. <clears throat> Vertical Machining Center is going to have a tool changer. It's probably going to have a category 40, category 50, or BT type tapered spindle. You're going to have to buy tool holders. Looking at our face mill again, these tool holders can be pretty expensive. If you have a machine that holds 21 of these tools and you want to utilize that tool holder to its full capacity, then you're going to at least need one tool holder for every tool you plan to use while making a part. These tool holders range anywhere from $50 to the really cheap ones on up to two, three, four hundred dollars $400 for the high-end quality ones. The middle of the road tool holders for most tools average around $100. The tool holders for face mills are about $180 to $200. So you can spend a significant amount of money on tool holders for these machines. Now if you did get a tool changer with a personal CNC machine, you're also going to have to budget some money, but it's not going to be as much. Their tool holders range from $30 to $40, significantly less than the, these tool holders. Again, you need to make sure you budget for all the items that you're going to need to get this machine up and running. 
Along with tool holding, we also have work holding requirements. Now the work holding requirements are fairly similar between a personal CNC machine and a vertical machining center. You're going to want a clamping kit, you're, you're going to want a machining vise, and some other work holding items. That's up to you on what parts that you need to make. The vise costs are going to be slightly different between this machine and a personal CNC machine, just because this machine is going to typically use a larger vise than you would see on a personal machine. Finally, we have to consider coolant use. Personal CNC machines, you're typically not going to use flood coolant. You're probably going to use a mister or a fogger if you use any coolants at all. Some of them do use flood coolant, but the sumps are in the order of a couple of gallons. On a vertical machining center, even the smallest machines are going to have a sump of 35 to 40 gallons of coolant. So you need a significantly larger volume of coolant. So you need to associate the cost of the coolant and then the disposal of the coolant. You need to dispose of these coolants properly. They use a water soluble oil and that water soluble oil, if it's dumped down the drain, can really cause major problems with your municipality sewer system. So it's very important that you account for the cost of not only your coolants, but the disposal of the coolants. I hope you enjoyed this series on how to buy a CNC machine. We tried to demystify some of the issues between a personal CNC machine and a vertical machining center. If you have any other further questions, please feel free to email us. I'm more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. Or if you have any machining needs, please also feel free to contact us. We hope to see you again at Atman Unlimited, and thank you for watching.